is up you guys welcome to a fresh plan with me this is exactly how i plan for my month this can be any month but this month is going to be a little bit spooky a little bit more fall vibes we're going to put on some fall movies get all of the fall planners out and i'm going to show you exactly what i do to break down my goals and bullet journal and map out my calendar especially for a very hectic month like October. So obviously we needed a margarita. I set up on the floor of my living, living room and this is going to actually go over a couple days because I'm going to share the entire process with you. So I turned on a good movie. We watched Practical Magic and I quickly realized that I did not have a bullet journal. The bullet journal I did have was pink and that was just not going to work out. So I made a quick trip to the bookstore and I got a new journal and I figured a maroon journal would be so cute and I got some little truffle chocolates that were adorable. And then I set back up had my margarita, watched some practical magic, and unwrapped a brand new bullet journal, which felt really, really good. And it matched my sweater, which I thought was so perfect. So once the bullet journal was unwrapped, I decided to set the first page to be a big goals and dreams page. So I just mapped out my big vision for the year, some long-term goals, and Right after that, I realized that I really did not like the vibe of that page because I did it all blue and cute and yes, it was adorable, but not a fan. So I'm going to show you what to do if you don't like a page. And the first thing I did before I got rid of that page is I fixed the cover. So we set up for a fresh day and I put on one of the not so scary stickers from the Donuts, Dumbbells and Dreams collection. And it actually worked really well and was a really cute topper so if you have an extra sticker laying around and you don't feel like your bullet journal is very cute that's a good option the other thing you need to do is brew yourself a cup of coffee so i put in one of my espresso pods and made myself a pumpkin spice latte in my color changing mug from the disney store which is really cute it's like a poison apple mug and it turns green as it gets warmed up so then from there i frothed my milk so it could be like a little cappuccino action and i made my way back over to the living room so this was like a full day adventure a day and a half adventure and Carl was a part of the entire thing and he set up on the floor of the living room with me. So I had my Tombow markers, my Arteza markers, and I had my Pinterest board this time. So I really had a clear vision and I just got rid of any of the pages that I didn't like. So I had also mapped out a October calendar the night prior and I didn't like that either. So what I did is I just took a really sharp pair of little surgical scissors that I would use for like trimming eyebrows and I didn't have an X-Acto knife with me. And that allowed me to just cleanly take out that page and still be able to keep keep it as almost like a bookmark page later on. So I was totally happy with that. And then we moved forward from there. So I drew out this little circular kind of wreath idea that I had seen on Pinterest. I just wanted to make it my own. And from there I used some of my Tombow markers. I love the Tombow markers because they don't have the bleed through. So I did a pretty solid plan with me this time last year. And I talked about bleed through and my favorite planners as well as my favorite markers and just kind of going through that process. So from Pinterest, I saw this idea where there was like a pumpkin with a big wreath around it and it was just organized chaos, which is totally my vibe. And then I needed a layout of the entire month. So that was kind of the idea of this very first page is just what day is when and just a general October map of the month. So one thing that I like to do is use the Tombow markers. I use some light and some dark colors of the same tone. I'll draw out a general idea of it with the markers and then I go through with a fine liner and I make it just prettier and more concise and more precise. So we watched Adam's Family. I haven't watched the second one yet. And in this, I show a full movie list. I did a next level Halloween and fall movie list. So you can see with using the fine liner, I added in some branches and some little details and it just makes everything so much more detailed and pretty, especially that fine liner. And I will link all of the markers and fine liners that I use that I like to do to do my bullet journals with. And then, like I said, I just had an overview of the overall month of October. And I feel like this page turned out really well. I was super happy with it. So the next page, I definitely wanted to do some spooky, scary, type of idea 
and I knew that I wanted to do some purples and some greens. So these are some markers that I ended up getting off of Amazon. They're actually really, really great and not that expensive. The Tombow markers are very pricey, but they're super great quality. These are another option. They're just a little bit less expensive. So the idea that I had here was doing a daily log and I did kind of like a cauldron idea. Don't ask me where I found this idea. I did not find this one on Pinterest. I just decided to do like some goop and some purple and some lime green and shade that and then have a little section of 31 days broken down so that every single day I could log my gratitude journal in there. And I wanted to bring this up. If you're not very good at feeling creative or just not so good with the markers and you kind of mess up a lot, an option would be to get yourself some stickers. So you can get some planner stickers. A lot of them are sold at Michael's under the, I think it's the 365 section the me and my big ideas planners. And so I just grabbed some different planner stickers and I had some little gold balloon stickers. So I wanted to create a ultimate movie list. Now I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I do have a fall movie list on Pinterest. I did share one in my fall bucket list video, but I felt like it needed an update. So this took me quite a while and quite a bit of research, but there is a lot of movies on that list and they are all Halloween movies. So. I can totally screenshot this and share this up on my Pinterest and share my thought process for that, but pretty happy with that list. And I do intend to go through it and know there is no slasher movies in there. It is all kid friendly and happy for the most part. So one tool that I ended up using a ton because I used a bullet journal that had a little bit of bleed through, not a ton. I wouldn't even call it bleed through. I just call it see through. I use this glue stick. So there is this type of, it's almost like a whiteout type of stick, but there's an, adhesive on the end of it and it just allows you to stick two pages together so if you do have some see-through you can just kind of stick those two odd pages together and then you don't have a messy page on the other side so I did the same thing as I did for the movie list with this next page I wanted to do a fall bucket list page I took some ideas from the video that I had made as well as other things I still wanted to do and I glued off that next page so that it could be clean and organized and not have any see-throughness on it. So then on the fall bucket list page, there was already a sticker in my sticker book of fall bucket list. And then I had a bunch of gold and fall colored leaves, which was perfect. And then the rest was just up to me to write it out. So this kind of keeps it clean and organized. Another option is to have these big gold clips that you can clip down your bullet journal with if you're having trouble keeping the pages down. And so I just wrote out, I think I wrote out, I want to say, yeah, 26, 27 different bucket list ideas for fall. Either goals or just things that I really wanted to do. And it's kind of a cool spot to keep those ideas. And the stickers turned out really well. And it's just so much less work on you if you don't feel like you're that great at drawing. Now, I will say practice, 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 but sometimes it's frustrating if you mess up in a bullet journal for sure. So, so far we had the movie list, we had the bucket list, and then I was going to glue together the next page. So I definitely skip a page in between and then I set up for the next page. Next, we watched Batman. So I really was Jones and some Poison Ivy. Love that woman. Goals. So we put on some Batman. Fun fact, I love the original Batman movies. And I do feel like they're a little bit Halloween vibey. So that's what we watched and we moved on to the next page. So I had this blank kind of see-through page right at the beginning, right behind that October wreath that I had done. And I thought of this idea that I could kind of create a bookmark with a bunch of bookshelf kind of drawings. So that led to it just being a full page and maybe making it a reading list for the month. So I taped off this, you can either use cardboard, the paper I'm actually using is sticker paper. So I could have just peeled off the entire paper and stuck it on the page. Also, I feel like that's a little bit risky, but what I did is I taped it off with some washi tape. Yes, it is the cutest Disney washi tape of my life, adorable. And then I just kind of free handed a bookshelf. So I had a little bit of help. I, I just Pinterest everything that I need help with. So I didn't really know what to draw for the, bookshelf. So I just Pinterest bookshelf bullet journal and a bunch of options came in and I just added a little bit of fall flair to it. So I added a couple pumpkins. And again, I used my Tombow markers first and really just freehand it. Nothing crazy. Tried to keep to the same colors overall. And then I went in with the fine liner after and kind of added in the details. So I just put some little plants. I actually ended up drawing a little small cat kind of looks like Carl 
curled up on some of the books and some plants and pumpkins. This part took quite a while, but I figured for every single book that was stacked on the shelf, I could write in one of the books I want to read or that I have read, which I thought was kind of a cool idea. Now, will I read this many books? Probably not, but it would be a really cool idea if you did this at the beginning of the year for a full year goal of all the books you want to read. So the original idea was to just have this one front facing bookshelf and really use it almost as a bookmark. And then I ended up going full crazy and I added a little bit of perspective to it that it was like a full library room. And then I just kept the entire page to cover up that one see-through ish page. And I added in some of the titles of the books that I've already read. So then from there, I just cut out where the washi tape had marked it off added in some more details with the fine liner, and then that page was taken care of because I didn't like that you could kind of see through that one side. So that was a great way to take care of it. And I didn't end up peeling off the sticker paper. I definitely could have. I just feel like it's a really easy way to mess it up. So I just used that adhesive little rolly stick. And there you have it. No more see-through page. So of course I needed to log a two page entry of my daily videos. So I used another not so scary sticker. I think they come in packs of twos, pretty sure I should know these things, but it came in a pack of two. So I had that. And then I put in 31 little squares of rectangles of all of the different videos that I wanted to use. And then I had some little ghost stickers as extras. So this was really simple, really easy, but definitely helps you feel organized. So you could definitely do this if you have 31 big goals that you want to hit for the month, you could do that as well. Or if you're going through the daily grind with me on my vlog channel, you could make some notes for every single one of those. And then this next page I thought was really cool. So this is a really interesting way to map out a week, especially if you want to hit and crush some goals throughout the week. So I put a just a big bowl and I created a large circle and then a small circle on the inside. And then I divided out not only the seven days of the week and then I had an extra one so I had eight little divisions I had an extra one for an overall goals for the week and then the individual little squares around represent each of your to-do list tasks for that day so the idea is that you'd want to fill those black squares all the way around the circle kind of cool right so same thing I used the adhesive stick to just tape off those two pages together so that you can see the see-throughness on the other side. And then on the extremities of that individual week, I added a to-do list as well as some goals. I had some pretty cute little paper clips too that went really well with the bullet journal, just to kind of keep my spot or you know keep a spot that I was looking for in the bullet journal. And then the next thing I wanted to do was use my Mean Girls burn book to map out all of my video ideas for the month. The other thing I always do is I use my sticky notes on the calendar in my office. So for this month, I had some black sticky notes, which went perfectly. And I just use this vinyl calendar. So there's a full calendar that I had gotten off of Etsy. I just ended up keeping the top portion of it. And the rest I use just on the plain acrylic board in my office, which also doubles as a whiteboard. And then from there, I just map out all of the days of the month with each single video so I can visually see it. So this was the next morning after. The other thing I do that you can see on my computer is I have everything marked out in an Excel spreadsheet. So then in that Mean Girls burn book journal, I just have one page for every single video. And then I basically write out a roadmap slash game plan for the entire video. So what are the moving parts of the video? What is it going to look like? Basically a storyboard of from the beginning to the end and just some key pieces that I definitely want to include in the video. And then I feel that much clearer on my goals and that much clearer on what I have to tackle that specific day. So it's so helpful. And I hope that this has helped you too in kind of showing you how I've laid out the day. Yes, a journal and a bullet journal is really cute and all, but sometimes it can really help you in the clarity of your goals and mapping out what you're looking to achieve. And if you need any more help with this, definitely check out my vlog channel. I'm doing a daily video. It's called The Daily Grind if you're not already watching it and you can go back and watch it whenever you need to. And it can definitely help you set your goals. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any plan with me tips, definitely share them down below. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you tomorrow. Bye dude.